TurboFest is one of my winter trips. I drove from Boston to Quebec. The trip, you, you kind of have to go through the White Mountains, otherwise you have to go through rural Vermont. I went through the White Mountains, it was beautiful. So years ago at TurboFest, like when I went in 2017, uh, before the pandemic, you can actually tent in the school itself. So in the basement floor, everybody would set up tents, they'd all sleep there and wake up, get straight to juggling. And while that's not allowed anymore because of COVID reasons and stuff, you can still sleep over at the community center. The community center is a couple blocks away. It's a brisk walk at, at night because it is Quebec and it's freezing, or it's a three minute drive. So that is what I did is I, I stayed in the community center. I'm very thankful that they have a place for us poor ass clowns to crash at. If you've never been to a juggling festival before, it's not just juggling. Yes, there are workshops, but there's also like multiple shows. There's a renegade show. There are competitions. Who can juggle quarters the longest? Who can balance a club on their head for the longest? There's, there's all these different things that uh, happen during the year. The Silly Trick Award. There's also something called Club Combat, which is a game that jugglers play to let out their aggression. And uh, you, basically you juggle clubs and then you try to knock the other person's clubs out of the air and sustain your pattern. And if you do that, you win a point. This year there was a huge club combat tournament. Uh, the winner was Luke Garage, no surprise there. What is surprising is uh, my friend Joey got second place and I never knew how good he was. <laughs> Here's the thing about traveling to Quebec is I did not go outside that much. It is very cold in Quebec, and I have all of my friends and all of my props and everything I want in one building. So there, are, it, it takes a lot for me to go out into the cold and experience French Canadian culture. Uh, so I really appreciate uh, having a friend there, uh, Ryu and Sonia. Yeah, I just, I, thanks for you. I hope to see you next year, or maybe I'll see you on a New Year's gig uh, sometime in the future. Oh, the other time that I went out was with my, my friend Trevor. This was a culture shock to me, because you know, we go to this artisanal French-Canadian coffee place. I talk to the barista, and uh, I order a latte, and, and Trevor orders some sort of like fancy coffee or whatever. And they're like, oh, uh, sorry. Um, you have not uh, re reached the uh, credit limit. Well, what's the limit? I said, uh, oh, sorry, it's um, five Canadian dollars. <laughs> this, this is not over five Canadian dollars. I, I'm so used to, you know, taking out a mortgage every time I want a Starbucks. I was just very surprised. First night show, my buddy Brian was in and it was great. He nailed it. So yeah, the, the best part of the act was uh, he did this double, he, the way he ended his act was he did this like double butt multiplex with the, with the knockers. And then uh, he just walked off stage and it was brilliant. The Renegade Show. Renegade shows at juggling festivals are where anyone can go up and do a trick and um, you're supported by not only an audience full of jugglers, but a live band. They, they procedurally generate music based off of your movements, and it is just fantastic. <laughs> Juggling festivals are just wild. I'm, I've been used to going to flow festivals for the large portion of my life and I really appreciate just going and working on my five club, working on my Diablo tricks, getting feedback from people who know the patterns that I'm trying to get and have you know useful things for me to to focus on. I can't wait to go back next year. That is my recap of TurboFest 2024. Thanks for listening. I don't know what the next video is going to be. This is kind of like a one-off one. So I'm going to link some of my best content below. If you decide to, to click it, uh, I hope you enjoy. So peace out.